Matthew 5 43 you have heard that it had been said thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy that is the standard of the law but I say love your enemies bless them that curse you do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you pray for those that use you how do you pray for those that use you bless them bless them in prayer don't pray for them to die bless them pray them well and wish them well that is against the law of Moses but that is the will of God for you in prayer are we together here yeah somebody is doing you bad you pray and bless him be blessed may your eyes be open to know Christ may it be well with you oh this is Jesus teaching now he said Moses told you to curse those that curse you but I say I am correcting Moses now you bless those that curse you and pray for them that despitefully use you he said that is the way you should do yours don't follow all those people that are praying fall and die don't pray follow all those people that are praying be roasted may your head leave your neck don't follow those people you pray for those that despitefully use you pray for those that persecute you and bless them the prayer should be blessed a man of god said he told us to pray for our enemies but he didn't give us a prayer point that is a deception he gave us a prayer point here he said bless them the prayer for them should be a prayer of blessing is it there bless them bless them why did he say you should pray for them and why did he say you should bless them next verse that you may be the children of your father which is in heaven for he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust for you to be like your father you must bless those that curse you and pray for those that use you despitefully that it will be well with them because that's the way your father functions your father does not kill people because they abuse him he blesses them that's the way your father functions except you are not born of god well if you are not born of god then that already tells us where you belong but if you are truly born of god then what jesus says should make you happy irrespective of how you feel oh sure you will feel bad oh sure you will feel betrayed oh sure you will feel pain oh sure you will feel wounded oh sure you will feel all the feelings but after all the feelings are true bless them that you may be like your father he makes the rain to fall on the good and on the bad and he has set the sun to shine on the just and on the unjust he does not say this man is a bad man son don't shine in his house let his fun business spoil no he makes it to shine on everybody he doesn't treat us according to our behavior he treats us according to his behavior i'm teaching good here somebody i read a quote within the week somebody said don't respond to people who are rude to you they are not rude to you because you are a bad person their rudeness is a reflection of what is inside them so don't respond to them now you may be the children of your father which is in heaven he makes the rain to fall on the good and on the bad james 3 8 to 10 but the tongue can no man tame it is an unruly evil full of deadly poison therewith bless we god even the father and therewith cause we men which are made after the similitude of god out of the same mouth proceeded blessing and cursing my brethren these things ought not so to be you can be a blesser and a cursor eh? you are either a blesser or a cursor because god is not a dual character god is not a dual character he's a blesser he blesses all the time he blesses the good he blesses the bad so if you are the son of god and if you are born of god you will reflect your father's stability and consistency in blessing all the time that's what james is saying here he said with the same mouth you bless god with the same mouth you cause these things are not so to be 
He said, if you are a cursor, it means your mouth is full of poison. If you are a cursor, it means you have a poisonous mouth and I don't want that mouth near me. You can't be praying for people to die at the same time and praying for things to be well. In the same mouth? A fountain doesn't bring out two different waters. It's either the fountain is muddy or the fountain is fresh. Which kind are you? He said, these things ought not so to be. I'm teaching here now. Huh? He said, these things ought not so to be. You can't be cursing and blessing at the same time. God is not a dual character. God is a stable character. I change it not. The same yesterday, the same today, the same forever. Stable. He said, that you may be like your father. Who makes the rain to fall on the bad and on the good. How do you poison? You poison with words. When people pray terrible things and they happen, don't think it is the will of God. That you prayed a wicked prayer and the prayer happened. Don't think it is God that answered their prayer. That your wicked prayer engaged the operation of evil spirits. And evil spirits are always looking for people who will license their operation. The licensing of the operation of evil spirit is with words. When you speak words that are poisonous, words that cause, you are giving evil spirits an authority through your authority to function. Because God doesn't answer such prayers. Because that is contrary to his nature. I'm teaching here and evil spirits are always looking for people that will give them license so they can do their work let me tell you something are you hearing from the day satan became satan he has only one assignment to kill to steal and to destroy so anywhere satan is there's only one thing he's looking for an opportunity to kill to steal and to destroy so when you open your mouth and you say die what you're saying is satan carry out your ministry you're using your authority to license satan to fulfill his objective on the earth some say but i was taught yes that's why i'm reteaching you in light of christ so you can get it right he makes the rain to fall on the good and on the bad he makes the storm to shine why because jesus said when you pray you've got to say saying is your exercising of authority when you pray say so man's words have authority 